Hey, welcome back to my channel. So this vlog is going to have the completion of the desk that my brother and I have been building along with just some general decor, more apartment stuff and just getting the space all together. So I'm really excited for you guys to see it. I'm loving how it's turning out. It's definitely becoming a very cozy place for me. And I also wanted to share some books and thank the sponsor of today's video, which is of course, book of the month. By now, you must have heard me talk about book of the month a lot, but if you're new to them, if you haven't heard of them, their goal is to introduce you to new and early release titles that they have handpicked. They pick five titles each month, and then you can pick which one you want. It is a book subscription box. It's all online. These are the five picks, so I thought I would take you through them. That was my wrist cracking. We have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, which I'm so excited about. I really, really want to read some more contemporary romance. This one is The Fake Dating Trope, and we're following Olive, who is a third year PhD candidate. She tries to convince her best friend that she's actually in a relationship. And so she smooches the nearest scientist who happens to be this man named Adam, who is a young hotshot professor. Next up, we have Beautiful Country by Kian Julie Wang. This is a memoir set in 1994 when our author arrives in New York City. In China, her parents were professors, but in America, her family is illegal. In Chinatown, her parents labor in sweatshops. It's all about her taking refuge in books, I believe, in the library, and learning how to live her new life. It says that she has penned an essential American story about a family fracturing under the weight of invisibility. Next, we have another one I'm really excited about, which is The Sweetest Remedy by Jane Igaro. First of all, this cover. This is about Hannah, who's never known her father, who was a Nigerian entrepreneur. But when her father dies and she's invited to Nigeria for the funeral, she decides to go and to connect with her family over there. Hannah is soon shaped by secrets that unfold, a culture she never thought she would understand or appreciate, and a man who steals her heart. So this sounds amazing. I cannot wait to read this one. Next up, we have a few spooky picks because we have The Neighbor's Secret by L. Allison Heller. This is about a neighborhood book club and they love reading thrillers and murder mysteries. But when late night acts of vandalism target the women of the book club, some of the neighborhood secrets began to surface. Finally, we have Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. This one is about a married couple who are celebrating their anniversary in Scotland, but one of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. And if you guys would like, you can use my code EMMY to get your first box for $9.99. Unfortunately, Book of the Month only delivers to US shipping addresses, but I know a lot of you guys are in the US, so if you would like to get some new books, I will leave the link in the description box. All right, so here's the desk so far. We just got it in um, and I just started putting some stuff on it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the two monitors there, but this is it. My chair is actually a little bit too short, so that kind of sucks, but yeah, I just have my keyboard on it right now and the cup holders are done. So there's two of those and I'm just really excited to have it in here. The color of it, we painted it. It actually kind of just matches perfectly the wall, which is really funny, but yeah. Um, so I just have my keyboard here. I'll try it. You guys always ask me about this. It's so cute. Um, I'll try to leave it down below, but I just love the, the color. So um, I think I just want to 
get some prints up above and then start making it look really cozy and cute. So I decided to leave like the legs just as they were because I kind of like that look. And then there's that shelf that runs along the back part. So I'm gonna put some books on there and stuff. So yeah. because of the garbage situation. Hello dear friends, welcome back to, I guess technically, you know, I moved in, it's going to be more of a decorating vlog, a decor vlog, um, as you can see I finally got my desk, um, my brother and I built it, mostly my brother, I did the painting job, also my mom helped, thank you mom, it was just a group effort, so it's here, I'll show you this in a second, we can do like a mini desk tour, even though I'm just starting to get it set up because um, I just got it. A couple days ago but i did want to start this vlog off with a little kind of homeware haul slash stuff people have very kindly given me slash really cute stuff that i found 
So that's what we're gonna do. And then as you can see, I have a whole bunch of plant updates to tell you about, which just makes my heart so happy. I cannot, I actually can't tell you how much of like a positive mood lifter, mood changing, serotonin booster, inspiration, feel good thing, growing plants and really getting into that hobby and just like really becoming so involved with having house plants and other plants has made me like it's been amazing um it's been so good for my mental health and just myself in general like i've loved it so anyway yeah let me show you some cute things my aunt gave me a few housewarming presents which was so cute thank you so much she gave me this mug with a little bee on it and it says be amazing which is very cute i love bees so yeah also it's huge i love big mugs thank you i think i'm gonna put this one on my balcony she also gave me this little dragonfly um she knows i love like bugs and stuff so thank you dragonfly candle it's a little candle holder i think i'm gonna put this outside because i've made a little bit of progress on the balcony as well which you'll see in a second um and it's really it's really coming along nicely so this little candle and then i wanted to mention these two things in this vlog as well these came in my p.o box but um i guess i could include them in a reading vlog but i just wanted to say thank you for them here because i've been using them and it's also been a pretty positive thing in my life so one of you guys designed some journals you designed a reading journal as well as a personal growth journal i've been using both of these and it's been good like i really really like this one i've been dealing with a lot of mental health struggles recently so this has been really good to just like remind myself of things there's stuff that you can list that you're grateful for stuff that you want to tell yourself throughout the day which has just been really helpful um dealing with some stuff so yeah these have been really really great and i'm gonna keep these beside my bed i would also love us to find a nightside table in this vlog so hopefully but thank you so much for these this was so kind and i can't believe you designed these yourself i'm planning on doing more of a mental health um themed video in the future so i will definitely take you through these more intimately in that video i picked up some things that i just thought were so cute and i couldn't leave them so this first one are these mushrooms look at them they're clip on mushrooms like i kind of wanted to get a bunch because i'm like i would literally put this in my hair just like like how cool is that but um, I think I was saying I want this room to feel like a little foresty swamp, a magical moonlight phosphorescent swamp. So we're gonna see where I can stick these. I might go back and get a bunch more. They were like different colors, but is this not just like, oh, they even feel, they feel so cool. I love, I absolutely love this so much. I picked up some food for my plants. I also got a whole bunch of new pots because I've been transplanting as well as trying to propagate a lot of plants recently. So um, most of them are currently being used because I did a lot of that last night and a couple nights before, but this is one that I really love. It kind of looks like a tree trunk, like a birch tree, I think. So um, this one's quite big as well. So I'm excited to pot someone in here. So that is that. And then finally, I went to my PO box and had a whole bunch of postcards from you guys so thank you so much these first two are absolutely beautiful um i'm not gonna read the back of this one it's quite personal but it's just thank you so much for this the back it's yeah it means a lot it means so much um and as well love the starry night thank you so much i'm definitely gonna hang these above my desk as you can see i'm making a little art wall um and these came all the way from hungary so thank you so much and then um i already hung one of these these came all the way from russia so i have um, one of Gogol's up here, right? But we also have Dostoevsky as well as Tolstoy. Look at these. And then they have quotes on Russian from them. Thank you so much. This is incredible. Um, this one says, to see more clearly and to understand everything, one needs to be in Petersburg. And this one says, this one's from War and Peace. We don't live on this piece of land for a while. We will live here and we will live eternally there in everything. So... Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much. I'm also gonna put these on there. I just need to figure out where. Also from Hungary, I got oh, just a cute note and some tea. So thank you so much. This one is pure white tea from the English tea shop. Oh, I'm excited. And then I also got a postcard from New Jersey, uh, which is nice because I've been keeping up with a few of you guys and I definitely need to get back on sending out the rest of my letters. Um, I just need to figure out where the nearest post office is. Yeah. I, yeah some of you have gotten yours because this is an answer from from one of you <laughs> that i sent so like i'm kind of trying to keep track of it but um i do have some others that i'm sending out soon so i just love talking to you guys so much and sending letters and 
stuff just feels so special. So thank you so much. So that is the little mini homeware haul, but I have so many plant updates to share with you guys as well. Okay, so the first thing, I moved some plants into my room, put them on this little like laptop stand or table that I've had for a while. It's pretty old, but I moved the ginseng bonsai here. And then I was saying that I've been propagating a bunch of plants. So my peperomia or the Chinese bunny plant, or it goes by a bunch of different names, but um, I got two little sprouts, offshoots. They're so cute. So um, I'm so happy. They grow little pups so quickly that like, I can't believe I already have two because I've not had that plant for very long. They just make me so happy. Are they, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Um, so I think they're doing well, which makes me really happy. And then I also put my aloe vera here, which is nice. I've been thinking of getting like some more plant hangers um, and stuff like that, but we shall see. I added some more stuff in this corner. So first of all, we have my ivy, which is doing pretty well. And then I added some prints from you guys. Um, yeah, this one is gorgeous. These little mushrooms, I love it and then the hands reaching as well. And then there's this little corner, which I really like. <laughs> I also decided to put the anthurium in here. Um, I just hooked it into the wall and I think he likes it there. And then the pothos is here. And this is the art on my desk for right now. So for the plants, look at, he's getting a new leaf. This is what I mean. This makes me so excited. Like, yeah, I moved the Monstera a little bit because I thought he was getting a little bit too much direct sun. Um, so I just put him over here. Oh, it makes me so happy. So these are a couple of ones that I repotted. We have the dragon plant that I just moved into a bit of a bigger container because a whole bunch of them were root bound. So yeah. Um, I had to take everyone down from here, so we're gonna put those back up, but he's gonna go up there. I also repotted the spider plant. Ignore the stuffed animal massacre over there. Um, the spider plant in this new pot that I also got is just black with flowers on it, and I love ones that come with drainings because, like, these ones I had to drill into the pots, so he looks pretty happy there. I repotted the polka dot plant into this little wooden planter that I have. There's, like, um, a little plastic bag underneath and then I also drilled into this one for draining. I did try to propagate um, one of these last night Yeah, I just tried to look it up online and they said to take a cutting that had a bunch of nodes at the bottom for new ones So I put them in this little container. I hope he does okay um, I'm just gonna leave him out here for now Technically, I think this guy needs something under him or like every time I water him. Like I could just do it in the sink, but yeah, that's him. And yeah, I do, a lot of you guys were suggesting to me to get a bunch of dark plants or plants that love just darkness so I could put them kind of back in that weird little nook. So I might do that. But for right now, I'm gonna put these guys back in their places.
All right, so here is the little table that I decided to put here. Hi. I really do like it. Um, and I just put some little plants on it for right now along with my lamp that I've had for forever and some journals, but I think I might decorate it like a bit differently later. This is just for like right now. I really do like this little corner. And then this one's like a nice, I think balanced out just blank. Um, and then I decided to put the wind chimes there, like I said, but so with that, I I think my room is pretty much done. Um, I might just rearrange it a little bit, but yeah, I really, really love it here. Do I miss the old apartment? Like I miss some things about it, but at the end of the day, it was not a good place to live, um, as cozy as it may seem on camera. So no. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming along with me on this decorating journey. Thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring um, this week's video. And yeah, I'm really happy with it in here. It's so sweet. I just, your guys' artwork is literally everywhere I look and it's just such a nice feeling that I can't describe. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, I hope you're keeping so, so well and I will see you very soon in my next video. So ciao.